working in a contact center is not easy. Agents face daily challenges that can make work demanding and stressful. But a call center can also be a fun environment where you gain practical and transferable skills that are critical to your career development. It's also a great place to make friends and take advantage of career opportunities while taking home satisfaction gained through helping others. This is your contact center coach here to give you some tips on how to survive and thrive working as a frontline agent in a contact center career. This video is brought to you by Benchmark Portal. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to help us keep providing free content like this. And please stay to the end to hear a special offer. The first step in understanding what a caller needs is to actively listen. Don't interrupt the caller. Just listen without judging or jumping to conclusions. Ask clarifying questions without imposing your opinions or solutions until you fully understand the reasons for the call. Stay focused and jot down notes about important points that may be helpful later on in the conversation. Once you've confirmed your understanding of the reason for the call, then you can begin to take actions that provide solutions for the caller. Callers are not just another call, claim, or ticket. These are fellow human beings reaching out to you for your help. So be careful not to come off as robotic or aloof, even if it's the hundredth call you've taken that day. After all, these are real people with real issues or needs, just like you and me. Remember, when a customer reaches out to your call center, they're interested in having real conversations with real people. So try to understand and empathize with them so that they know you want to help. As a call center rep, you're not going to have all the answers. And that's perfectly fine as long as you're not afraid to ask for help when needed. Depending on the nature of the caller's request, that call may need to be escalated to a different team or department with the expertise needed in that particular area. For example, escalating a call to your product development team about a faulty product may be the best solution for that caller. Knowing when to ask for help is key to being successful in a call center. By making things personal, you give callers the human element they're looking for. Plus, it's a good way to build rapport with customers and learn more about them. To personalize your interactions, start by introducing yourself and let them do the same. During the conversation, occasionally refer to the caller by name. For example, thank you, Mr. Smith, I appreciate your help with that. But be careful not to overdo it or it can come off as scripted and phony. If you need to fill time while searching for something or waiting for an issue to be resolved, this is a good opportunity to get to know the caller with small talk like, how's the weather where you're located? Or what's your favorite part about working with us? This is a nice way to connect with callers while filling time with something other than silence. Being on the phone can be tiring because you're sitting in the same location for long periods while having to be constantly engaged and actively listening, always on top of your game. So remember to step away from your desk when scheduled to do so, of course, so that you can give yourself a physical break from your space and your routine. Even if you can't step away from your desk, Try coming up with other ways to decompress for a few minutes, like doing a crossword puzzle between calls or even some meditative breathing. Remember that mental breaks are just as important as the physical ones that you need to be your best. If you typically handle callers from a specific foreign country, take some time to learn more about that country and its culture. This bridges cultural divides, helping you to not miss any conversational nuances that are unique to that market. This also builds customer loyalty and reduces the chance for any misunderstanding that may arise due to cultural differences. It may also be a good idea to learn a few short and simple phrases in that country's language for you to use as needed. Callers will appreciate the effort, allowing you to connect with them and personalize the experience. When you understand and embrace people of other cultures, you can better appreciate and empathize with your callers. Chances are you're in a call center career because you enjoy people. So try to have fun with customers on the phone if the situation is appropriate for it, of course. This builds good relations with callers and it makes the experience more enjoyable for you and your customers. But don't forget to have fun with your coworkers too at the appropriate time and in the appropriate manner. We spend nearly a third of our lives with the people we work with. So why not make friends and have some fun? After all, 
Having fun makes life in the call center easier and makes work a place that you look forward to going to every day. So have some fun. For watching this video, you can receive a 20% discount on any of our awesome training programs listed below. Just use the promo code COACH20 when you enroll. If you like this video, you might also like this one about how to be a rock star agent or this other one from Benchmark Portal. Just click or tap on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with others. This is your contact center coach saying game over. Now, go out there and be great.